apologize up front because it's going to be about the budget. Okay. Uh, discretionary programs are definitely on the chopping block without a successfully agreed upon federal budget within a given timeline. Should sequestration go into effect, what are your words of wisdom for the Oklahoma Aging and Disability Network? Well, I might have to give that speech that we're more than the programs we run, seriously, because it will be very difficult. Um, the Administration on Aging Programs are discretionary programs. They're funded in the federal budget in a discretionary way. Uh, as I've described, that, that I have been successful the first two budget cycles of getting the President's support and increased funding for our core programs, Title III, Title VI, Title VII. And even though I can get this in the President's budget, I've not been able to get it through Congress. They've not passed it. We've been level. We've been level on the core, but even AOA has been slightly losing ground. The places where I've been losing money are on innovative programs that I fund because, you know, I believe in that. I've talked about evidence base. I want to establish a body of our work that's evidence based, but I can't have nutrition or animal supports. Not until the very end. I mean, that, that I will support the core. So we have been eroding slowly. It's kind of like the sand under your feet and the way it leaves. That's kind of what's been. They've been falling over, knocked over. But this is what's happening to us. If sequestration came, we would not, it would impact us. We wouldn't avoid it. Uh, it would depend on the percentage, and it would depend on the guidance I got on what to do with it. Uh, I don't have a grant an implementation plan for sequestration. Uh, you all, many of you are managers. I would look at what that meant for my core administrative staff, I would look to see are we talking about the impact on staff days, are we talking about cuts to the core programs, uh, how do I quantify that in terms of what we will actually lose. So in terms of what you can do in Oklahoma, just understand the conversation that sequestration is us, that we are on the discretionary side. Uh, and in the federal system, that's quite different than being on the mandatory side. AOA has very little funding on, on the mandatory side. All of your air protect programs are discussion. So it's a concern it should be. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you all very much.